This is Damon Real. This is Damian Real. And we're the Highlight Real. And this is the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. You're watching DCTV. Now here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. It's you. It's me. It's DCTV. It's you. It's me. It's DCTV. Uh-huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you. It is me. It is NRD, H to P, Gerald the P. And of course, this week on episode 56 of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, we are joined not just by one, but two guests. And you are not seeing double because from Indianapolis, Indiana, please welcome Damon and Damon, the highlight reel. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the broadcast this week. Hey, no problem. No thank problem. Thank you for having us, man. This, this is awesome. As we mentioned in our pre-show discussion, you're the first tag team that we've ever had on. Also, the first set of twins that we've ever had on. <laughs> so, so the question that everyone will ever ask a set of twins, who is the older of the two? Unfortunately, Damien is the oldest by one minute. Wow. Yeah, take it. <laughs> so so do, like does that like factor into like when you guys are wrestling at all does you, does you know do you use that in your promos or whatnot or any sort of hype like i'm a minute older let me take the lead on this one bro uh no we, no. Just, we just go with the flow let things play out how they play out we usually don't use that as a factor unless we're arguing <laughs> then it comes to hey, you know i'm older than you know that right <laughs> So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's always interesting when we hear about one person's journey and how they got into wrestling. Um, I know you guys are, are fairly new to the, to the wrestling scene. 2019, I believe you guys made your debut. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So just how does not just one, but both of you get into wrestling and brothers become a tag team. I started just watching wrestling when we were little, uh, just seeing everything that there has to offer with wrestling and just saying that, Hey, we should try that. And you know, other sports, everybody, you know, with our stature being so short as is, you know, wrestling, you see all the short guys, you know, prevail most of the time. So I'm like, you know what? We, we look like we could do this. And plus, number one, we're already a great team as is. Right. Might as well try our hand. And plus, I love wrestling. You know, Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, all, all the good guys, you know, out there. I want to be one of them. So How so- short are you? <laughs> you said what? How short are you? What's your height? <laughs> I'm, I'm 5'10", and he's 5'9". Yep. That's pretty average, if you ask me. See, I told you, average. Oh, taller average. than Harold is. Yeah, taller than Harold, <laughs> twice his size. I'm I would just only let... like three feet tall on a good day. <laughs> and that's and that's with Tom's arm. <laughs> Listen, I, I I just like to say, as the king of the wrestling nerd broadcast, I am a proud six foot one. It was a life goal of mine to be above six feet because I wanted to be in the NBA when I was a kid. I was like. You have to be six feet. But that's why I was obsessed with Muggsy Bogues until high school. I was right. like, look at him. Yeah. I'm in there. That worked out so well for you too, Dave. It did. <laughs> it really did. I became a Hall of Fame high school broadcaster. So, you know, it, it's good enough for me. Uh, but, yeah, so have you, was this a dream of both of you guys growing up? Or, like, did you say, like, oh, let's be a tag team? Was there thought, you know, we could do singles? Like, how, how did the how did the highlight reel become one? Well, you know, it started out uh, – course tag team but you know every now and then you're like well maybe i want to be the top star or something yeah. like that but we didn't let it push us aside we know we are better as a unit than we are separate um but the name actually was kind of hard going through because uh first we were double trouble yeah. and when that didn't stick was like man we need something that you know pops and is better than double trouble double trouble sounds like a kid made it and so it's, it's too obvious, you know, <laughs> whenever you see twins, it's just, oh, look, there go double trouble. And it's like, what's your, what's your name? Oh, well, he's double. I'm trouble, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to think like, yo, we go in, we show up and show out. We might as well be a highlight reel. And he's like, oh man, well, there's the name right there. 
So that's how kind of the highlight reel came to be. And then we just decided, like, yo, Damon, Damien, <laughs> and there the rest is history. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's it is obviously like it's it's rare that you not just see brothers or siblings for that matter in wrestling, but twins at that. So obviously everyone talks about like there's twin magic in a wrestling match or whatnot. But did either of you growing up, you know, one of you call out from like the I'm going to stay home from school sick, but the other one went in for you like anything like that? Are we uh, when we were a little we did a lot more of uh, switch classes every now and then. We were never in the same class. Right. Uh, we would always have a different teacher and we would switch. And then next, thing you know, they'd be like, yeah, you got the homework or whatever. I'm like homework, what, what homework? <laughs> or they're sitting there calling your name and you're sitting there like. I don't know why this lady's <laughs> calling me. That's not my name. And they keep calling me like, yo, that's not my name. Oh, man, I forgot I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> did, you so guys play any, up. did you guys play any sports? Like, did you do um, amateur wrestling growing up as well? Or was this just something you got into later in life? Uh, we did amateur wrestling once we got a little bit older. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were a little, played football, basketball. In eighth grade, we played baseball. And then I played senior year uh, football. Mm -hmm. So I'm, so you guys played football. So with, with the Super Bowl upcoming, this does fit in perfectly here. I got to mm -hmm. ask, just completely off topic, Rams or Bengals in the Super Bowl Sunday? Honestly, I can't tell you. I was really voting for the Chiefs. But once they got out, I'm like, well, I'm glad to see a new team in the Super Bowl instead of somebody who's already won it. So right. I'm really tossing up the coin. I'll give it to whoever. I would like to see the Rams win. Oh, see, I, I would have rather, I would rather see the Bengals. That's my favorite oh, no. brother. I like the Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, see, no. I, I was more of a Green Bay fan, but then they let me down. So I'm like, uh... oh, <laughs> there's a divide here. They were finding this. Is, this is how the highlight <laughs> reel breaks up. The rats do call their parents. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're in the by door. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, as you can tell. So, and and then we've got a Washington Commanders fan in I Nick. Know, I'm on the, I don't know about all that. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't know what it's like to watch his team in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Pittsburgh. He's got to grow on me. Over here, Pittsburgh. Over here. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I, I am a Steelers fan. I love the Steelers. Hey, you know what? The, you know, as a Buccaneers fan, I was just happy whenever they were on TV. I didn't even care about winning. So I was like, oh, we're going to get blown out by 50? Okay, but we're on TV. Let's do this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, ba so back to, to the wrestling. So, you know, do you um, – what is your – what's the preparation going? Because obviously when it's just a solo act, you know, they just have to worry about themselves. But when it comes to a tag team match, you know, the chemistry has to be there, the preparation. So, so what is that like? Like, how do you guys prepare for a match? Do you do it together? Are you working out together separately? Well, th there's the fun part about it. We know each other like the back of our hand mm -hmm. and some things, you know, we be like, all right, we got to do this. We got to do this, but we go out there, we can read each other's minds. And we go out there, try to make the best of the situation and pull out a win or come up short. And we all, you know, we always prepare at the gym. You see us at the gym pumping some iron next to each other, motivating each other, go home, get some rest, get ready for the show, pop in some music, waiting for the show to start. You always see us there right side by side. Now, what kind of music are you listening to when you're hitting the gym? Uh, a little bit of everything, not yeah, not I wouldn't say like love songs or anything like that. Oh, it's the only it's, thing you got to work out to. Sometimes, sometimes I can be <laughs> your hero, baby. <laughs> sometimes Enrique's on every play, play comes through now and then. A little nice little love song. You're like, well, might as well go ahead and keep going. <laughs> true, true. It's that cool down cardio music, you know. <laughs> that's the mood um but again with with being twins and you know when you're at the gym like is your goal to keep the similar body type so there isn't much of a difference because you know you look at you guys you've got very similar physiques you know you look the same hairstyles the same you know is is that one of your goals to to maintain everything because i mean even the facial hair looks just about the same so 
Uh, in the face, yeah, we kind of have our similarities. But to be honest, growing up, we were always kind of different. I was mm-hmm. always the heavier one. Yeah, uh, I'm taller by an inch. And uh, <laughs> uh, I usually have my beard more out and everything. And he actually started growing his dreads before I did. Yep. Okay. So it only came to be once we started wrestling like okay we're gonna have to keep some of the similarities but there are subtle differences that most people don't really pick up on unless you're around us all the time yeah Mm -hmm. like as you can see right now like he got the nice goatee going on and i just got the regular old (laughs) mustache model (laughs) i don't think a ref would notice though you guys are safe do you you use this tactic i mean against the ref sometimes uh sometimes yeah Nice. The only indicator when we're in the ring is that uh, I have tattoos. Oh, he doesn't yeah. have any. Yeah, I'm all clean. We, we, so, can, we can draw them off. I was going to say, we, <laughs> I have a Sharpie right here if you're ready to commit. I got a C plus in high school. Tattoos, come on. One day, one day, one day soon. What, okay, <laughs> what would your first tattoo be? I'm curious for that. Right oh, now, if oh, you have to go in. I already drew one out. It's actually going to be a, a Mortal Kombat uh, tattoo. It's going right there, right here on my forearm. It's going to be the, the Mortal Kombat logo wrapped with Scorpion's chain. Because I'm Get Scorpion. over here! Exactly. I'm a Scorpion fan, <laughs> and I think that will be the perfect spot for it. So I have it all planned out. I just need to get it done. I, I, yeah, I like that too. so you guys obviously played I'm assuming you played the Mortal Kombat video game growing up not just a fan oh, of yeah. what, yes, what yes. other what other video games are you guys into growing up uh, I am a firm believer of there is no bad video games I love Sonic love Mario uh, Siphon Filter was a good game back in the day 007 Tekken oh, Tekken then, is a big one and then you got your 2K Madden Mario uh, uh Wrestling, Mortal Kombat. I have a very Mortal controversial Kombat. opinion on James Bond video games. <laughs> Watch yourself. Goldeneye it. is not better than The World Is Not Enough on uh, Nintendo 64. I, don't know. I am so yeah. sorry for that, that you guys had Everybody to hates me we wore, because we wore the Goldeneye cartridge out back in the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy had to buy a second one because we legitimately wore it out. Uh, I understand. You should have gone that. outside more then. Dang. <laughs> yes. I know that. I know I should have gone out a little bit more back in the day. But um yeah, I can't I'm still stumbled by the by the golden eye thing. I, I just, it's baffling. It really is. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I you know. really are. You really are. You're not royalty worthy. Um, but so yeah, like so growing up with um with wrestling, you said what did you have any tag teams that you guys looked up to when you were like, we could do this, you know? Like what were what were your favorite tag teams growing up? Oh, obviously the Hardy Boys. You yeah, know? it like Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, Dudley Boys, back like back in the day, and then we got the Usos. Obviously, that's like the main one mm-hmm. since twins, twins. Yeah, I mean DX, I really loved. Uh, rated RKO was a good underrated one. Mm. Uh, we're going further back, Four Horsemen type deal. Uh. <laughs> The Steiner brothers, you know, there's there's always a little influence of every era of wrestling. You got to look at all aspects, especially with tag teams. You can never not learn anything new. Mm-hmm. So have you have you because uh, um, I saw with uh, one of the, the shows you post that's upcoming, uh, I think it's at the Rock and Roll Express. We're going to be a part of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, so, man, so excited. Yes. Yeah. Have you have you come across any wrestlers, you know, in your in your career yet where you've just like gotten the chance to meet them and have been starstruck at all yet oh um, lord uh boogeyman <laughs> was one of them uh really met him he's, he's so scary <laughs> he is he is and like to see the person you saw as a child and i mean he was scary before but he he's the man he's just a really cool guy and don't forget let's not forget about rikishi oh rikishi, yeah man like he, he, he called me, oh, man, I must got one of some more sons down here. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, I'm, <laughs> That's I awesome. Know, yeah, but I say, like, oh, oh, yeah. Love it. Yes. Boogeyman, we, we ranked all of those figures. There were 232 that we had in hand as of December 31st. We ranked them all. He came in at number 30 on our list. 
So oh, okay. that's, a, that's a great that's a great figure there, Ryan. Um, I did see that you guys wrestled a friend of my humans, Congo Kong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's what a, a really... nice fella. He hit my human in the chest really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hit me in the chest too. Yeah, <laughs> he's they very know. agile for a large fella. Oh yeah, he can definitely move in that ring. I got I I took a chop to the chest from Darby Allen three years ago. What oh, what so advice would you give to an idiot like me who is preparing to take a chop to the chest if I ever did so again? Because it, it just did it. <laughs> what did you say? Don't flinch. Just I did. Just let it ah. back out. If you if you cover up, you're just gonna get it ten times. Worse. I'm just like oh. Because <laughs> because literally we meet him and my sisters go, can you punch our brother in the face? He goes, no, I can't do that. I can chop his chest though, and he looks me dead in the eye, and goes, lift your shirt, and I was like, what? <laughs> and it just, I had his handprint on my chest for a week, and it broke the skin. It was terrifying. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so the I, here it'll be. <laughs> yeah, it. They say that'll put some hair on your chest. I think it took some off that night, but you know, it grew back. So you can have some of my hair if you want, Dave. No, no, thanks. I don't think I've got enough blue on today. I'm good, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> but so with, with your careers, obviously, you know, with the 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 birth of AEW recently and and the a certain you know the resurgence of companies like Impact and there's obviously there's the mystery of Ring of Honor and stuff like that. What is a, a, a relatively new team's goal? Is it WWE like it used to be for everybody? Do you want to go to AEW? You know, do you just want to be happy on the indie scene? What What is the goal for – what would be the end scene for the highlight reel? Uh, the end scene – Or the, be, the, the goal screen, I guess, would be the – The goal uh, to be the greatest tag team to ever walk the planet, basically. Uh, Right now we're on the indie scene, but we would like to, you know, get to that next level. Uh, Impact, WWE, AEW, anywhere, give us a chance. We're going to go out there and do our thing and make sure it's the damn thing to do. And, <laughs> like, we just want to be known and put in the same tier as all the other great tag teams. So to have that status that when people look at us – they automatically know, holy shit, it's the highlight reel. Like, everybody around the world, not just in Indiana, not just in the United States, just around the world, there's like, there's the twin tag team of the highlight reel. It's the highlight reel. So, like, that's the goal right there. Now, obviously, you guys, you know, you're from Indianapolis, Indiana. Where, like, how far out have you been able to travel with your wrestling career so far? Uh, we've been, we've been a little bit of everywhere on in Indiana, uh, Jeffersonville pretty far, uh, Muncie. Uh, yeah, mostly been all around Indiana at this time. We're trying okay. to go to like different States and stuff. Okay. Come to Michigan. I'll hang out with you. <laughs> hey, you don't, you don't want to do that. Trust me. <laughs> Yes, you so do. You guys, I'm a great time. I <laughs> see so you guys are kind of taking over Indiana, right? You're doing the NWO thing, hey, take hey. over Indiana, move on. Okay. Well, we'll, mail, we'll mail you the puppet. He can be the third guy. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Tom will be so sad. <laughs> That's true. I so you, guys, you guys are already claiming gold, right? Are you current tag team champions? Oh, yes, WC, we're actually – uh, yeah, WCWO, DCCW, and uh, WTF, Wrestling Theology Fellowship. I have women in gold, up. baby. <laughs> when I saw WTF Wrestling, I was like, what is this? And I saw the acronym. I was like, they're trying to take it back, maybe, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's I don't think you've done a show with them. Friend of the show, Greg, your irons wrestled there. So hopefully, hopefully, you get to meet him one day, too. Oh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, yeah. man. You see a lot. Did you all train out in Indianapolis? Uh, yes. We started out at uh, WCWO. Mm -hmm. And that's where we've been training ever since and uh, making a name for ourselves. Yes, sir. Do you have any advice for someone who's younger or has not ever wrestled that wants to get into the business? Because since you guys started, 
pretty recently, it's a lot different than when The Undertaker was being a jerk to everybody. Yeah. Uh, Lou, advice, <laughs> I would say uh, if this is what you want to do, stick with it. I know when you first start training, you're like, okay, I think I can do this. And then your first day is kind of whack. You're going to be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to do this. Stick with it and just enjoy that grind. Because once you get to where you want to be, you're going to start to enjoy it. And it's not a job. It's one of your favorite things to do. Nice. Yeah, but that's the most important thing right there. The Make sure that your reasoning is clear of why you want to do this. Because if you come in and you don't really want to do it and you're just doing it, then get out so somebody else can have their dreams come true. Very, very well said. Um, so obviously, guys are – successful tag team like we said swimming in gold already has if 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 what if you guys were to split up if the highlight reel were to be cut in half who would be the one to turn on the other i will hate to say it uh <laughs> it'll probably be Damon. <laughs> me unfortunately i'm not gonna lie uh ever since we were little i'm always the one who calls the trouble i would always get him in trouble uh Hey, you never know. Sometimes it, it flips on them. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, I know just <clears throat> as we are good as a tag team, solo, I'm pretty sure would be just as good. Now, now one of the, the, the questions that always comes up with tag teams, it refers to the Rockers. And I, I will never ask that question. But what, what do you guys think of when somebody does, man, like, who's the Marty, who's the show? Like, from a tag team perspective, does that – annoy you upset you if somebody asks like ask that sort of question uh a little bit sometimes because i know they're like okay which one's jeff and which one's matt which one's triple h and which one's sean mm. um and we just like uh we don't know we just go with the punches we let people decide mm -hmm. exactly when personally i'm damon and he's damien and we're <laughs> the damn highlight reel baby yes sir I don't like you. I really like you. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> you shouldn't meet his brother. He's awful. He's his bro bad. His My brother's brother the best. Is such a troublemaker. He's the best. <laughs> but basically, we just tell him uh, anything he can do, I can do it too. <laughs> Sir. Yeah, and, and that's that's the thing. Like, I think people almost get focused on that at times. Like, oh, who's going to be the breakout star when – why can't both guys be really good? Because I personally love tag team wrestling because to me, the more the merrier, the more chaos we can cause in a ring. Let's do it. <laughs> um, and speaking of chaos, you know, I think of stipulation matches. Is there, has, has there been a stipulation match in your guys' career that you participated in or that you would love to do like a ladder match or a cage match or a death match if you're just insane? What? what? <laughs> oh, we participated in a TLC match, uh, a cage match, street fight. But uh, I think a Hell in a Cell would be pretty fun. I would yeah. love to try to do Ooh. a Hell in a Cell. And you got, you got, uh, the, the TLC was uh, like the prime time moment for me. You know, tables, ladders, and chairs. Go crazy. It's street fights, that's always fun. You get to do whatever you want. <laughs> Now, t are you guys typically in just traditional, for the most part, traditional tag matches? Or are you guys like specialists in a TLC area or anything like that? Uh, for us only being three and a half years in, uh, yeah. we're not specialists of anything. But <laughs> I think Yet. when it comes to tag teaming, traditionally, we're, we're pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. Um, Harold, did you have something to say? You look like you had a hand raise. I couldn't tell. I always have a hand raise, and I always have something to say, Dave. Okay. okay. You talk too much sometimes. By, by all means, floor is yours, Harold. Okay, so I don't really know much about Indiana, but what I do know is that in Michigan, the pizza is terrible. Is there a food that you hate so much? Uh, so much? So much? Uh, uh, I don't I'm willing to try it. Just about uh, me time. personally, I don't like caramel, caramel, however you say it. I don't like, I don't like caramel. But uh, yeah, no, I don't really hate a food. I, I, I guess I re I'm not really a fish type of guy. If I, I if I eat seafood, it would probably be like shrimp. That's probably the only seafood I'll eat. But I, I wouldn't say I hate it. 
See, I'm from New Jersey originally, but I live in Michigan now. And I went from the best pizza in the world to the worst pizza in the world. And now I hate it so much. But I love candy. If you, oh, if yeah, you, probably, yeah, me too. You What's guys got to come candy? up with Oh, my favorite candy. Uh, it used to be Mike and Ike's, but I really love like Tootsie Rolls and the Fruities. Like, what? I love Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Let me see. Guy. What's your favorite Starburst color? And why is it orange? It's definitely cherry. It's definitely cherry. Red. That red one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I had that same debate with somebody the other day, and I said I used to eat them in the orange, the order that they came in the package, which was orange, yellow, pink, and red. And red was always my favorite. Best, baby. Mm. No, no, no. You, you end with the best, and that's red. <laughs> Do you guys like Almond Joys or Mounds? No. Thank Nobody you. Nobody likes them except Grandpa's. <laughs> no, that's that's Werther's original there, Chief. That's I should Grandma's. Know. Jeez. No, <laughs> Grandma's had the strawberry candies that weren't actual strawberries. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I definitely yeah. like, I like I those. those. I like those. Yeah. Oh, man. So as twins, do you guys have, like, secret code words and stuff? I don't know about code words. We don't have code words, but we do have that uh, mind link. <laughs> I can't get my damn brother out of my mind sometimes. He's been <laughs> driving me crazy. Your brother's a good guy. You just got to give him a chance. You got to, you know, he's you gotta... so mean. And I don't want to bring him on the show because I don't want him to, to be mean to my friends. The high life real. <laughs> Seriously, we're just going to send you Harold to Indianapolis one day so you can just be there ringside, right on the side the entire time. He can I, slide. I would enjoy it. <laughs> <That's the> house. <laughs> main, main event Harold. So, do you guys have like a dream opponent or like a dream match? Like a, any tag team? Oh, well, obviously the Usos. That's, yeah, the Usos. That's that job. would be hell of a match. Uh, uh in indie wise, the Tate twins. Oh yeah, I take them too. Hmm. Oh, the Young Bucks would be a good, uh, good choice. Oh yeah. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Matt and Jeff, yes, most definitely. Yeah, but, uh, before they end up being done, yeah, I gotta yeah. have that one. Well, hey, on that you note, you said what? Well, I say on that note, I I suggest uh, you jump these guys, make a name for yourself. <laughs> You're in film. They're they're retiring soon. Aren't they in yeah. their retirement tour? I, I believe. So. I mean, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see Ricky Morton. Until somebody a... comes up with a nice check. <laughs> they're they're like they're like Kiss in the Rolling Stones. They're gonna re I'm gonna retire before they retire. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, but I you know I think the Canadian Destroyer by Ricky Morton's a great move. I would like to see a Highlight Destroyer. That's just <laughs> that's just me. Go go put that on a T-shirt. Um, yeah, Hey, never you, you never know. But uh, but speaking of uh, the Rock and Roll Express, that'll bring us to our top three Tuesday, in which uh, we uh, we go around the room, talk about our top three uh, tag teams that'll be this week that we want to see made into micro brawlers. So, Ryan, you, uh, Ryan, you already have your list. You ready? Oh, he's ready well, to I go. Just weeks ago when we were in talks. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Ryan, Ryan is the most prepared person on this show, let me just say. He's great. <laughs> uh, so, guys, we will let you either – you can have the choice of going first and second – or uh, what my math's terrible, last. <laughs> I, couldn't get, I couldn't count that fast. <laughs> so do you guys want to go first or do you want to go last? Uh, you, got, you got your three? I think so. <laughs> I think I got my three. Do you want to go okay. first? Okay. So I got, obviously, Matt and Jeff. Got the Hardys. The Usos. And then... Young Bucks, that's my three. Oh, we should uh, we should talk soon because, as you know, they the Young Bucks of your list they are made. Oh, so what was that? What the talk? You always use another variant. They no, they're doing for an update. These are super so old. different now. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> these are, these are pre pre AEW, so they're got, got to get the got to get the Dior Nikes on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only uh, way I'm gonna get them. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, rated RKO. Uh, sorry, Randy Orton is like one of my favorite characters. I mean, not characters, but you know, wrestlers. Uh, 
Brothers of Destruction. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I forgot about that. And the Rock and Sock Connection. Nice. Nice. Solid, solid picks from the highlight reel. Nick, you look like you're in distress writing your list. Uh Oh, excuse me. Fine. I'm going to go before somebody else goes. (laughs) That's fine. (laughs) All right. I'm going to go. I've used this one before on other ones. Like, I think a WCW one, but I'm going to do it again. Harlem Heat. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, it would be sick. Uh, red or purple? Go, sorry to interrupt. Huh? Red or purple gear? I was just curious. Oh, or black and like the black and red. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I would think. Like the uh, um, Steiner Brothers. We talked about that earlier too. Like yeah, the yeah. Um, solid. And then let me see with my last one. Let's go. Uh, recently released, so they could probably do it now. The New Age Outlaws. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, one. yeah. That's a good one. I yeah. do like that. Harold, how about would you like to go next since Ryan ducked out quick? <laughs> well, well, well. Yes! Oh! Oh! Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go. I shut my brother Harold up. He's so stupid. Uh, Just like Nick, he's dumb. And Ryan, he's stupid. And Dave is the best. Ah. I don't even like the highlights real. You know oh, who my favorite real. tag teams are. I'm it's going real. to pick my Let's number go. one friends, the Quebecers. <laughs> I'm going to pick the Beverly Brothers. And I'm going to pick Vince McMahon and a note saying you're fired to all the players, the employees of WWE. There's <laughs> a pen that says you're fired, stupid idiots. Go find a new job. Go be poor on the streets. Man, <laughs> super heel, my goodness. Yeah, I tell that you is my best up. friend right there, everyone. He's Gerald, <laughs> friend of the king, Sir Gerald. Oh, yes, we love you, Dave. I we love, love you, you so too. Much. I love you too, Gerald. My king, my brother. <laughs> Ryan, you are you are up next, my friend. Okay, well, first of all, Gerald, I was hoping you were in my garage. You come say that to my face next time, bud. Ooh, all right, ooh, that's fine words. Man. I'm ready for it. To you. I'll get to your vault. All right. <laughs> Here we go. My top three. Two of my top three wrestlers of all time. I want the outsiders. I want Hall and Nash. Hey. Uh, Nash has a brawler hall. I want him to get one. Second pick, handicapped heroes, Greg Gary Iron, of course, and Zach Gowan. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We actually yeah. met him before. What's that? I said we actually met him before. Zach? Yeah. Nice, yeah. Him and Greg were tag partners. Yeah. But that'd be a cool one because they could pose Greg up. They did one like, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a picture anyway. <laughs> um, do. And then my third one, probably a surprise. I want Fire and Ice. Scott Norton and Ice Train. I loved their okay. look and just two big guys. I mean, that'd be awesome. Ooh, Sweet. Those are, yeah. those those are, are so- stupid picks, Ryan. What was that? I- <laughs> those picks, get dumb. Yeah. I saw... Zach Gowan in Michigan. He was a nice fellow, but I said, don't fall over. Oh, man. So I guess that that leaves me, the king. Royalty goes last. So I am going to go. We mentioned them earlier. I'm going to go with my old Hasbro's. Uh, I'm going to go with the Rockers, Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels, because I wore the paint off those figures as kids. And this is just showing my age. I I meant to ask, how old are you guys again? At 25. Wow, 25. I feel really old. <laughs> like, your baby. <laughs> like, they're mentioning all these attitude error guys and the guys really to I'm like, man, I'm really old now. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so no, Dave, go- you are like a fine wine. Oh, thank you, my friend. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Rockers. And then one half of the, the Hasbro many I have here, I'm going to go with the Natural Disasters, Typhoon oh. and Earthquake. I think you could have fun with those singlets. And then I, I don't think anybody mentioned them. But again, it shows my age. I, I could always go for uh, the Road okay. Warriors, but oh, I want the the gold shoulder pads from SummerSlam 1992. Uh, L-O-D, oh, the gold ones. L-O-D, yes, L-O-D, the gold L-O-D, ones. L-O-D. Yes, I know they're hard to make, but I think they. it was the first pay-per-view I ever watched. You guys weren't even born. Um, <laughs> but yes, SummerSlam 92, Money Inc. versus LOD was the first match I ever saw on pay-per-view. So they will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, so yes, let us know your top three Tuesday of tag teams you want to see made into micro brawlers in the comments section below. Uh, and so now 
guys, we're going to give it over to you. You feel free to promote whatever you want. Fairness, this comes out this coming Tuesday. So if you have something this weekend, it won't show in time. But the floor is yours, social media, shops, whatever you guys got. Let us hear it. What you want to say, man? Well, obviously, you can follow us on Facebook, The Highlight Reel. You'll see these handsome mugs right here, right on, right in the picture. Um, we got Instagram at the underscore real dot boys. And then follow us on YouTube, the highlight reel in quotation marks three and four. There we go. I saw an email too. I don't know. Is this for booking? Maybe the highlight reel 34 at gmail.com. Is that for booking? That's for booking for when people, sometimes they just usually go through my, my accounts. It's, you know, Hey, we ain't really talking about this one <laughs> well i got i gotta talk to mike lombardi with northeast wrestling up here in new york we gotta get you guys up to up to the big apple here that's oh, so yeah. love love to have you on my local indie because that's that's a lot of fun so oh get, we get you some merchandise that. made so but uh yeah so that's that's pretty much it for this episode of course don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel make sure you like us on facebook follow us on twitter and instagram and all that you can join our patreon patreon.com slash wnrdb uh pro wrestling tees.com slash the wrestling nerd broadcast get yourself plenty of t-shirts it's cold here in new york so we got hoodies on order we got hats we got all the good stuff uh am i missing anything I, am i missing anything ryan I, uh, Gerald, gerald's the worst no, watch yourself. We can say thank watch you yourself. to our new friends. Yes. Now, hi, like, shut, shut your face, Harold. <laughs> You're the worst. I don't want to hear <laughs> nonsense. Hey, 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 we got to be friends with the new folks. Be quiet, Gerald. Whoa, <laughs> highlight reel. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank the you. best. Thank I can't wait to much. see you in person thank someday. Much love. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh man, yes. That that is this has been a great time. I think we did well for our first tag team. So you guys, thank you for being being the uh, the guinea pig for this. Yeah, okay, I know so, we're those people that we've is, never had on screen at one yes, time. Is, we, <laughs> we have five humans, two puppets, and just everyone's <laughs> probably confused watching this at home. So yes, on behalf of myself, Ryan, Nick, Harold, Gerald, Damon, Damien, the highlight reel. I've been Dave C. The Voice for the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, reminding you to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Rand said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone, and God bless America. 